Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an HP laptop. And in this video I'm going to take you on a step by step how you can open it up and how you can replace your battery. If your battery inside the laptop is not holding up any more charge, it's just discharging really quickly, then you might want to replace it. And by replacing the battery you're not going to change any configuration in the system or any, it's just a plug and play, there's no need to do anything. I'll give you a nice tip at the end of the video, how to do your initial charge and discharge the proper way so your battery can last longer. And you should do this once every two or three months at least to keep the best performance, uh, best health for your battery. All right, let's get it started. First thing first, you wanna power off the laptop completely. Then you wanna flip it upside down and you wanna grab yourself the screwdriver set. I have a screwdriver. I'll be using an iFix screwdriver set as they have one of the best screwdrivers out there. These are made out of S2 class steel bed and we are going to be using a Phillips number one. I'll leave the link in the video description in case you want to purchase yours. For the opening tool, I'll be using a guitar pick and metal guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. We this two on hand and we're going to get it started. All right, first thing first, once at the bottom of the ladder, you're going to see a whole bunch of screws. There are two hidden screws that are right inside these tiny holes right in there. Now, all the screws, including the one in here, they have a little C-lock on the other side of the screw that will prevent the screw coming out entirely. So pretty much all you need to do is to rotate the screw completely until you feel like it's just not coming out, and that's it. You just want to rotate. And then you want to feel the screw is loose and that's it. That's when you want to stop. Don't pull it out. So same thing here. I'll just do a few quick turns right away. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comments here. Appreciate that. All right. Now that we loosen up all the screws, what you want to do, you want to grab the opening tool and usually I would like to start from the corner front here. I'm going to stick it right in there. I'm going to twist it. I'm going to see opening. Look at that. Just came out. If you didn't come out, just work around on the front a little bit more and the bottom cover will come out and you can see the C locks right on the screws on every one of them. All right. Now we put that cover back and down here we're going to see the nice long battery right in front All right this battery is a rechargeable battery the model is an ss03 xl the part number is a 93 28 23-1c1 i'll try to get the link for this one so i'll see where i can find them you guys can purchase a compatible ones now to remove this one all you need to do is you want to pull this jack backward. I don't really like pulling the, you, I'm using a plastic rod in here. I don't like pulling the, uh, the cables, but the cables are really tough. So in this case, you can pull it or you can put your fingers on the side of the jack and pull them back. You have to do it evenly like that. But if you're going to change the battery, just pull the cables backward and it will disconnect. It's pretty soft, it's not hard enough. So let's connect it like that. And next is to remove one, two, three, four, five screws. These screws are hex screws, probably are hex number nine or torque number eight. Let me see, yeah, torque number eight. So remove the torque screw number eight from the battery. Always remove the screws at the end. First let's connect it. All the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. Once you remove it, just grab the battery, pull it towards the fan, and uh, there you have it. This is one, two, three cell battery. Look at this, they have a nice, nice foamy thing in here. Now let's say that you got the new battery in. All you wanna do is again, put the bottom end here, under the hinges right there. And then you wanna set it down, make sure the screw holes match, and it start putting up the screws for it. All right, once we have the screws in there, one last thing is to just grab the connector, make sure the red cables are towards the RAM and the black ones are towards you, 
and then you want to slide it evenly this is very important that you want to go straight inside the jack don't go sideways in straight in and then you want to pinch it right in there okay and then toggle down the cables right between the ram and the battery and the last thing down here would be to just grab the bottom cover and place it right on top squeeze down the middle a little bit so we can get those clicks in on the side in the corners and the last thing down here would be to just change back to your Phillips number zero, number one, and tighten up the, all the screws. Now, regarding about the first initial charge and discharge, it is very important that you do not power on the laptop right away. Connect the charger and leave it for charging for at least four to five hours without powering it on. After four to five hours, you want to power on the laptop without the charger connected and you want to discharge the laptop slowly, bring the screen brightness down to 50 and put some video, don't put anything heavy load. And once it's discharged down to 30-20%, you want to power it off and again, you want to leave it charging for another four to five hours. Make sure it's off. After that, then you can just turn it on and use it as you wish. That initial charge and discharge, it is very important for the new battery and you should do that once every two months to keep the health of the battery optimized. All right, I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in the comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.